Hi everyone, welcome back to Risa Does Makeup. If this is your first time here, my name is Risa, and today I have a makeup tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how I got this look right here, which I think is the perfect makeup look for spring and summer. It's glowy, it's bronzy, you can take it up a notch to make it more dramatic, you can make it less dramatic, and the best part is that nothing I've used on my face, none of the skincare, none of the makeup, is over $10. So I'm going to be using a few of my favorite affordable brands, but the bulk of the video is going to be products from e.l.f., which in case you didn't know, stands for Eyes, Lips, Face. They are sponsoring today's video and I am so excited to be working with them because over the last year or so, I have really fallen in love with the brand. The brand is cruelty-free and vegan, all of the prices are incredibly affordable and you can do daytime looks with their products, you can do nighttime looks with their products. I fell in love with the brand beginning with the new Classics palette last summer. I even did a video all about that palette. And then just when I thought that e.l.f. couldn't do any better in the eyeshadow department, they launched their Bite Size eyeshadow palettes. These eyeshadow palettes are only $3 each. I've also really been loving the Poreless Putty Primer, the Plumping Glosses, the Concealer, the Camo Concealer Sponge. The more products I try from e.l.f., the more impressed I am. And I really feel like I should say this again in case someone missed it earlier, e.l.f. is vegan and does not test on animals. So now let's jump into the tutorial for how to achieve this, what I feel is the perfect spring summer makeup look. So today I'm gonna to start with my brows and eyeshadow. I don't typically start there, I usually do my face first, but I'm noticing that when I film tutorials, they tend to go faster if I start with my eyes and brows. So I'm using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. This is such a good dupe for some other more expensive brow pencils on the market. I am going to fast forward through this part just because it does take me quite a while to fill in my very sparse brows, but you'll still be able to see how easy I can fill in my brows with this pencil. Actually, I believe this is the shade Blonde. The writing is so tiny. I got both the Blonde and the Taupe because sometimes the Blonde can be too light, but this one is actually really, really good. I am gonna set my brows, but I'm gonna do that after I apply my foundation because once in a while when I do my brows first and then I apply foundation, I do have a tendency to remove some of the brow and I have to touch it up, so I'm gonna wait to actually set it. So now for the fun part, the eyes. I have been doing this look for like a week now, over and over. You've seen it in recent YouTube videos and on Instagram, and anytime I wear this eyeshadow look, I get so many questions about it, and I am so excited to say that it is just this little $3 e.l.f. bite size eyeshadow palettes. Specifically, this pumpkin pie quad. I love this one. It is my favorite. I love them all, but this is the one I reach for the most. I'm beginning with a fluffy crease brush. This is part of a set that I got at Walmart for, I think, $10 or under $10. This is from Japanesque, and I am going into this first shade right here. And this is just going right in my crease. Actually, it's going a little bit higher than my crease. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I wanted to first apply this e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream while I'm working on my eyes and just letting it sort of soak in. This is really an impressive eye cream. It sinks right into the skin. It feels cooling and hydrating. And I've actually noticed in just the short amount of time I've been using it, like maybe a week or 10 days, that it really has helped with my dark circles. It feels so nice and it works well under your concealer. And now I'm just gonna let this sit and soak in while I do the rest of my eye makeup. Back to the quad, I'm using the same exact brush that I used to apply the first color, only now I'm going to look directly into the mirror and place a darker shade right in here, directly on my crease. Now I have hooded eyes, so my crease isn't well defined. The only way I know where to place the color is by looking straight into the mirror and just sort of pushing in right there 
and then moving the brush back and forth. So for that, I'm going into this darker brown shade. And as I said, I'm pushing in and then just blending back and forth. And then I am concentrating a little bit more on the outer corners. I'm making little circles and then bringing the brush in towards my nose. So this is what you should end up with. Now I'm taking a flat synthetic concealer brush. This is just one that I picked up from Harman Face Values, which is a local drugstore. It was a dollar, I believe. So I got the brush a little damp. However, these shimmers are really pigmented and intense, even without dampening your brush. I just like to take it up a notch, but if you want to wear this as a daytime look, because some of us do wear shimmer during the day, I would recommend just using your fingers, but I want to be a little bit extra, so I am going to apply it with a damp brush. And this golden shade, this bronzy gold shade, is one of my new favorites of all time. So I'm taking this and applying it onto my lid. Look at that. Look at the intensity of that color. It is amazing. When I first started using these bite-sized eyeshadows, I had such an oh my god moment. <laughs> Truly, I swiped on the eyeshadow and said, oh my god. I just was not expecting such incredible pigmentation from a three, four dollar eyeshadow palette. I mean, come on, look at this color. This is why I can't stop wearing this palette. It's just so pretty. And now I wanna darken up those outer corners a little bit more. So I am using this brush from Echo Tools. It came in a two pack for I think $8.99. And I'm going to go into the dark brown in the Truffles palette. So that's this shade right here. And I am just going to pat that on the outer corners. And then take another brush that came in that set that's fluffy and just blend it out. And I'm blending it down here, but that's okay because I am going to take a makeup wipe and give myself a crisp lift. And now for under the brow bone, I am taking this shade from the Light Medium Contour Palette. And I'm popping that right underneath my brow and also using that to diffuse the upper portion of the eyeshadow of that first transition shade. Now I'm taking one of the e.l.f. Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes. I'm wrapping it around my finger and I am making that nice crisp lifted line and this is going to be my guide for my next step which is eyeliner. For my eyeliner I'm using this pencil from Wet n Wild. It is the Coal Crayon in Sima Brown Now. And I'm just lining my upper lash line and I'm making a wing with this. And you see how I just followed right along with the line I made with the makeup wipe? And I'm gonna go over that once again with that very dark brown that I used on the outer corners and an angled brush. I'm just setting that pencil liner. Not only am I setting it, but I'm also creating like a diffused shadow wing. And if you need help with doing this sort of lifted eyeshadow look on a hooded eye, then I highly recommend you check out my Fox Eyes makeup tutorial that I will link in the description box. 
All right, so for the most part, the eyes are done. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. The mascara I'm gonna use is from Essence. It's this Lash Princess Mascara. All right, now I'm gonna work on my face before coming back to my eyes and doing a little bit on the lower lash lines. So, for my face, I am beginning with the one and only Poreless Putty Primer. If you have not tried this product and you have issues with large pores and texture, run, don't walk, or click the link in my description box and pick yourself up one of these primers. It is so good. Watch and see my pores just disappear. This is another one of those oh my god moments when I first used this. I actually just use my fingers. Make sure your fingers are clean, obviously. So hopefully this is picking up on camera, but you see how large my pores are around my nose? Look at this. Gone. Gone. <laughs> Where has this product been my entire life? You know, I hate to use the word extra, although I did use it earlier when I was applying the eyeshadow, but I do have to admit that the e.l.f., I guess you could say mantra of be extra without paying extra is truly fitting. Now for foundation. A lot of my loyal viewers are quite aware that I love the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I recently ran out of my shade, which was 30, and when I went online to buy a new one, the shade 30 was sold out. So I ended up picking up one of the newer shades, at least I think it's a newer shade, 32 nude beige. So it's a little bit darker than the 30, but that's okay. I did use some self tanner last night and I think it's going to work just fine. And what I do is I place a few drops on the end of my brush and then I begin along here on my jawline and then begin blending in. It actually might be a little too light, even with my tan going on. Oops. This is just one of my absolute favorite drugstore foundations. It's medium coverage. It looks like skin. It lasts all day. And I actually did a pretty okay job of not getting rid of my brows. I do actually like to take the brush and go up, the brush that has some foundation on it, and sort of buff out the front of my brows so it gives a little bit more of a natural looking gradient because I have no brow hairs there whatsoever. Now for my favorite part, concealer. This hydrating camo concealer is a must have for my fellow over 40 ladies or anyone that has issues with dry under eyes, with their concealer creasing or getting cakey. This is such a great find. I use the shade Light Peach, and a little bit goes a long way with this, so be sure not to use too much, otherwise you will have a cakey result, but that's true with any concealer for the most part. You just wanna apply a little bit to the areas that you have the darkness down here, not up here, and then this sponge, I have been raving about this sponge for I think two months now, this camo concealer sponge. It is a must have. When I first got it, I didn't really like it, but that's because I used it damp and I prefer to use it dry, just like I'm using it right now. I get in the inner corners by my nose, really brighten up in there, and then just push it into my skin. And so that's all the concealer I'm using, just patting it in with this amazing sponge, and look at the difference. Well, aside from the dots I already put on this side, I think you can still see what a big difference it made. I don't care what concealer you're using, you need this sponge in your life. Now I'm gonna go back and set my brows with this Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel. Hopefully I'm in frame for this. Next I'm going to set my under eyes and the center of my face using this setting powder in Fair Light. All of the exact names of the products will be listed in the description box as well as easy access links. Now 
let's do some contour. So I'm dipping my brush into these two shades from the light medium contour palette. Just dipping an angled brush into both, tapping off the excess, and then lightly contouring my cheekbones around my temples. And then I'm just taking my finger and going into this lighter shade right here and running that down the side of my nose. Just to slim it out a bit. So now let's go back and finish off the under eyes. I am going to take the angled portion of this Echo Tools brush and I'm gonna go into that first palette we used which was the pumpkin pie palette and that brown that we had originally used in, well, as our second color in the crease. And I am going to line just lightly with this brown. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that bronzy color that we used on the lid and apply that right in the center of my lower lash lines, right below the pupils. And for inner corner highlight, I'm going to take this champagne shade from another one of my favorites of the Bite Size eyeshadows. This is the Cream and Sugar palette. So I'm gonna use this right here. I'm also going to pop a little bit of this right under here, right under the arch of my brow. It's the tiniest bit. Now for glow, one of my favorites and most underrated products is this one from Neutrogena. It's the Glow On, and this is the shade Supernova. I just put a little bit on my fingers and tap it on. And this just gives such a beautiful, natural looking, sort of lit from within glow. So pretty, I love that highlighter. Now for blush. Another product from e.l.f. that if you don't already own, you need to go get ASAP. One of their primer infused blushes. I'm trying to like spread them out and it's not working. I have four, always rosy, always cheeky, always spicy and punchy. Always punchy? Yeah, always punchy. I need to get contacts in. The one I'm gonna use today is going to probably surprise you. I'm using always spicy. And now you're probably thinking, what? That is gonna look so dark on you but oh no no. If you like that just came in from being on the beach for six hours sort of look where you're just sun-kissed, then this is the blush you need. If you're very fair, definitely go light-handed with it. These are primer-infused blushes, which mean that they are gonna stay on a lot longer than some other blushes on the market, and they're completely matte, and they just look so good on the skin. They really, really rival high-end blushes. So I take a little bit on my brush and I smile and I just lightly dust it on my cheeks. Now I never really know how much to put on on camera because I feel like when I look in the viewfinder I am going overboard but then when I download the footage to my computer you can hardly see it so I don't know what to do here. <laughs> but look at that color. It's just a very flushed, rosy cheek. And then I like to take a little bit across the bridge of my nose. So I really do get that sun-kissed sort of look. And then something else I like to do just to tie everything in is to take this blush as an eyeshadow and just run it across the top very, very gently of my eyeshadow look. See how I'm barely holding the brush and just barely tapping in the shadow. For my lips, I'm using this Almay 
Moisture Smooth Color Stick in Almond Nude. This product feels so good on the lips and it's just a great everyday nude. And it smells good too. It smells sort of fruity. And now, just to give it a little bit more depth, I am gonna outline my lips with this LA Girl Lip Liner in Keep It Spicy. And then just to give my lips a little bit more shine and dimension, I am using the e.l.f. Plumping Gloss in Pink Sugar. And I'm just applying a tiny bit to the center of my lips. This gloss has a little bit of a tingle to it and I love the shine, I love the consistency and this color, this pink sugar is a must have. So this is the completed makeup look without any lashes. I am going to go apply these lashes right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna cut them in half and only apply the inner portion to the outer corners of my lashes just to give them some lift. I'm also gonna go do my hair and put on some clothes and I will be right back. All right, I applied my lashes, completed my look, and this is it. This is my full, perfect spring, summer makeup look using all affordable makeup. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as part of the Risa Does Makeup family. So please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I try to upload at least two to three times per week. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the name Risa Does Makeup. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.